Okay. So. Let me go to... Oh, I am sharing. Okay. Oh, okay. My principal said that she's on and she can hear. Okay. So we're good. <laughs> okay. So let's get started. <laughs> so obviously this is the first time either one of us have done this. <laughs> So Sylvia, thank you so much for being here. Um, I guess we'll just get started. So let me find the little slideshow I made. Okay, so. Okay, so guest artist interview Sylvia Blanca. And here's Sylvia right here in front of one of her murals. So Sylvia, can you tell us um, where you were born and where you grew up? Yes, I was born in San Luis Potosí, Mexico, um, that I grew up there. I didn't move to Houston until I was 10, so most of my childhood was in Mexico. And um, the, uh, I guess they can see the pictures, right? Yeah, yeah, tell us who's in the pictures here. So the, the one with a bunch of little kids, those are, that's me and my brother. The youngest one is my brother. And then my cousins, uh, we we would um, we pretty much were together like all the time when we were little. We used to uh, get together every Sunday. And then the picture, um, it's the the one up, the second one. It's my dad, myself, and my brother. You're so cute. <laughs> so I just went on um, Miss Blanco's um, Facebook and I just got all these pictures and I would kind of get like lost like, oh, look at all these cute, awesome pictures and all this amazing <laughs> art. Because <laughs> I've seen your art, a lot of it, you know, we've done a lot of gigs together and everything, but I didn't, man, you make a lot of art and I didn't see all the other ones before and I was like, this is so cool. So um, when did you know you wanted to be a professional artist? Um, I didn't know for a long time. Uh, you're going to hear my cat in the background. <laughs> um, I guess I, I was, it was an accident when I found out. Um, a friend gave me a paint set and, um, I had mentioned to her that I wanted to learn how to paint and when I started painting, I just knew, like, it was just kind of an instant thing. Like, I grew up drawing and sketching, but I never thought anything special of it. I didn't think there was a reason or, um, I don't know, I just never thought about pursuing an art career um, until I was older. I was 29 or 30. And so whenever I started painting, I just, I felt it in my heart. I just knew I wanted to paint for forever. So it took you a while, but you got there, right? That's the important yeah. part. <laughs> Can we see your cat? Is that yeah, um... <laughs> what's his name again? I forgot. It's Felix. Felix. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> He's like. I want to see. I want to see. <laughs> Okay, so in this picture, this is, um, what was his name again? Uh, Pancho Claus. Pancho Claus. So he's like, he's kind of popular on the East End, right? Yes. Yeah, he's, uh, he does a lot for the community. Um, I think that was a festival that he was hosting, and I was live painting. That's awesome. So what is live painting? What does that mean? Uh, life painting is when you are painting while like a an event is going on, so you're painting live, like in real time, I guess, in, in front of people. You're painting there, and so people are able to see the pro the process. That's cool. So, um, does that ever make you nervous? No. Oh, uh, oh that's good. <laughs> yeah. No, I guess I get in my zone, and I just. I just paint. I don't really think of anything else but what I'm doing. So I enjoy it. I enjoy life painting. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so um, who are is your favorite artist or are your favorite artists? <clears throat> um, well, I can tell you, um, I have 
<laughs> my cat just fell. <laughs> um, Annette Ronan is one of my, you know, great inspirations. I love her. Ana Marieta, which is um, another local artist. Um, I love her art. Um, Frida Kahlo, of course. She, you know, a lot of my artist influence. It's kind of Frida Kahlo in, uh, inspired. Like this um, one. Like this one with the flowers in her yeah. hair. So, yeah. yeah. It's not supposed to be Frida Kahlo, like if you know, but it is definitely inspired by Frida right. Kahlo. Right. You know, she had the flowers. Um, the face looks different, you know. Um, I kinda like when my I don't know, when when my the the girls that I paint look different. Like they can be different ethnicities, you know. They could oh, be Asian, yeah. they could be Mexican, they could be white, it could be you know, it could be so many different ethnicities, you know? That's awesome. Um and uh Chara Bautista, which is another it's she's a illustrator. I like her too. That's awesome. So her if you wanna Google her, everybody, her name is spelled C H A I A R A and then Batista. B A U T I S T A. So you could Google her and look at her um, art and see why it inspired Sylvia. So um, it's interesting this uh, mural, this is a huge mural, right? Like, did yes. it take you a long time? Yeah. And then yeah. what happened recently? <laughs> what happened here? Uh, we recently got painted. Well, I, I guess um, it's been painted over a couple of times. And yesterday, I decided to um, paint, um, like, um, the mask and uh, scrubs on her to, um, as a thank you to the nurses and everybody that's helping out with what's going on in the world right now. Right. That is so awesome. It's, it's really beautiful. And it yeah. also shows that. With street art, like, things are always changing, and oh, yeah. you just kind of have to deal with it, right? <laughs> and you have to be pers yes. persistent. <laughs> yes, it's, yeah, and they're not permanent. Most of them are not permanent. They're just there for a little while, and then, you know, it changes. Yeah. So I've painted it a couple, I painted her a couple of times already. <laughs> <laughs> she, that, well, it kind of makes it cool, because she can just keep changing, huh? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> so tell us about um your journey as a muralist. When did you start painting murals? Um, it was in two thousand fourteen. Um, I was I started painting like in two thousand and ten. So I was still ex um teaching myself. And in two thousand fourteen, there was an artist call for a street art uh, uh, mural that uh theater wanted. And so they uh, they uh, asked me to paint. Well, they chose me. I submitted some art, and then they chose me to do it. And that particular one with the camera, that one was I was invited to paint that wall by somebody that was running a, a food park, food truck park. Um, and so that was the, that was one of my first murals. The one that I did previously was a smaller one. That, that's the artist called that I. Um, that I answered, and then um, the one with the girl that was my second mural, I think. Oh, wow, it's so pretty! I just love it. Yeah, um, so, um, kids, if you can see right here where it says Bao, it's funny because that's our friend Bao, and he's the one who painted that llama that you saw hanging up in my classroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know why, why did he put his name up there? <laughs> I let him borrow the, the ladder and he went up there. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just want to paint too. <laughs> yeah. So um, tell us about this one here with the um the, the strong girl. She's like a luchador or? Mm -hmm. Lucha, yeah, the luchadora. Luchadora. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, that one was actually for an art festival. It's like a mural festival. Um, I think it used to be, I can't remember the name of it right now. Uh, bleed the walls or something like oh, that. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah. yeah, it's like it's like graffiti summit um, or 
you know, it's like a mural festival. Yeah. So there's a lot of people that go and paint walls, and, the, and that's that's the one that I painted that particular year. That's amazing. I did uh, Blast the Walls, which I think it's like the same people, but they kind of... Yeah, I think yeah. they changed the name, but yeah. I think it was that one. Oh, Blast the Walls. That's yeah. awesome. It's amazing. And it's very, like, encouraging to women to be strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay, so this is you spray painting. So, um, like, these... This art yeah. here, is this... Br um, you used a brush on these, or is this spray paint? That's spray paint, the La Ruchadora. Uh, the one with the camera is mixed media, so it's some spray paint, some some uh, brush. Okay. So when when did you start? Did you start with brush work, or did you start with spray can, or did you just always do no, both? No, I started with brush. Um, mm -hmm. So I started painting in 2010 with brushes, and in 2013 I started kind of experimenting with like spray paint and other mediums, and doing murals when I was when it was 2014 so once I um I just knew I wanted to learn spray paint so I've, I've always like asked my as the years go on and I, as I progress as an artist like I always make time to practice that because it's something that that I want to do I don't do it all the time um but um but I do try to practice and and I've gotten better with time but I don't get to practice enough, so I'm still a student. <laughs> so um, a lot of my students, they get kind of frustrated with their art. They're like, it's not good. And I have a rule in my classroom that you have to be your own best friend. So you cannot say anything bad about your own work, right? Because you want to say that to your best friend. Um, so, and they just are like, Mrs. P, but you can draw. And, but I tell them, but I had to practice, practice, practice. So right. that's true for you too, right? That's true for all artists. Yeah, I, I, mean, I guess I had the same feelings. And everybody that I talk to that kind of that asks me, like we've all kind of gone through the same path. We start and then we don't like our art and we practice a little bit. And we, we just, I mean, if it's something natural that you like, you're just going to naturally practice it all the time. And you just get better with time. I, when I started, I have some of my sketches that I did. Oh, I have some. You want to see them? Yeah, yeah. I have like some. Hold on one second. Okay. <laughs> I just found them the other day, so I'm like, let me save them. <laughs> so these are pretty old? They're old. They're like my elementary. Oh. So you, you've been like painting animals and stuff for a long time then. Yeah. yeah. That's an elementary? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it in the other day and I was like, oh my god. That's perfect. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> and so you, you like laminated them to protect them? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And so they lasted. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I mean, you know? Like, this is where I started, you know? Like, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's, 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 you know, it's just practice and um, time and and being kind to yourself, you know, just just trusting the process is the main key, knowing that as long as you practice, you're going to get better. If you keep doing it, there's no way you're going to get worse. Right, you know? right. It's going to be better every single time. I mean, you're going to feel comfortable to it and then you get to learn to be your own individual artist because at first what I used to do was I copied a lot of the cartoons you know like I did a lot of characters so I used to do a lot of cartoons and cartoons so I didn't you know it was just just for fun um and and then I didn't start painting until I was 30 so you know now 10 years later I can paint a little better than from when I started but it's, you know, it's been, it's just the practice and the time and the effort that you put in. Yeah, you're going to be as good as you want to be as long as you keep going, right? That's awesome. So um, tell us about this right here. This is like um, like graffiti style artwork, but y'all had permission, right? <laughs> yes, it was, yeah, we got hired to do this. Um, oh. This was for a play. So they needed a background to be painted kind of with graffiti. So there's that group of, of people, we all went in and just kind of freestyle, just organic, let it, you know, let it happen kind of organically. So we didn't go in really with a plan. It was just for fun. 
but yes, I've never done anything illegal. Everything I've done has been with permission. Oh, that's good. That's good. 